Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angel here making another video because man, I've been spending too much time alone with myself just talking and it ain't been good. So last night, God is definitely manifesting himself to me and I think that God wants me to see him in like a form of a human and I'm kind of like, Lord Jesus, oh my goodness, your words are enough like but to like I could hear, see, and feel him last night. Like on the on the most intense level. Like he was speaking to me about things that are coming. Things that, bro, God is moving through the world and I don't want to miss him. You know, I'm just walking, walking by faith. Because <laughs> I don't know what else to do. It's like, today I'm not like down or anything like that. I just feel like really kind of like tired. Like, <sighs> there are some things that I'm going to have to let go in order to be the woman that God needs me to be. Like, God is so <sighs> serious when he's like, you're not my angel right now. And I'm just like, God, but like, I could be. He said, but you're not, so figuring out what it means to be his angel, God's angel, because when he, the way he speaks to me, man, he's just a, a loving, good God. And I can't wait for everyone that doesn't know him to get to know him better because he's the only one that can like show you yourself. He knows everything about me, so I love that I don't have to be anybody but me. You know, it's the only person in the world where I can actually be myself. Just because he knows me. Like, everybody else, like, it's just like I can put on some makeup. I can put on some, some cute and everyone be like, oh, you look so pretty, you look so pretty. But, you know, like, inside, I be broken. And I'm, like, finally at the point in my life where I'm realizing that this, this beauty, for the, I don't, take it because there's so many beautiful women so if I'm only focused on like my beauty I never look inside you know that darkness that brokenness that ugliness inside of me that's just waiting for one man one woman to say the wrong thing and you just pop off I got I have gotten so used to a, what is it suppressing my emotions truly and it's hard for me to feel them and I thought that was just like something I made up in my mind but no I hate feeling emotions I hate feeling sad I hate feeling happy because like how long will this happy last like it's just like a mental a mental bondage for so long that it's like if I'm not listening to the word of God if I'm not listening to people that are teaching things then I instantly just go right back into the demonic dimension and I can hear the spirits talking to me. I can hear, I can see them. Not good spirits, the devil spirits. Like I spent 12 years listening and doing whatever he told me to without even knowing that I had given my life to the devil. You know, like mirrors are, are portals. I am so convinced of that because like it was this trauma that happened when I was 12 years old and my cousin he is sexually assaulted me from behind but before like that like I had a therapy session and God walked me through that like walked me to the door I had to open the door myself I'm bro I'm literally sitting there watching myself be sexually assaulted by this man and then I'm just looking in the mirror and the whole mirror is black I don't even see myself in the mirror and then the the my therapist and she's just like praying she's like do you want god to take it away and i'm like yes so i open my eyes for a second and i'm like oh, that was a lot and then i close my eyes again i'm back in that same bathroom and god put so much light he cleaned the bathroom it wasn't the same dirty bathroom i was looking at and i for the first time in my life saw myself in the mirror and i smiled back at me I am seeing the craziest things. I've been seeing, I work at Facebook. I've been seeing white, rake, what is it? Writing on the wall in red. It was like, it said, I only saw that it said attention, but there was words underneath it, but that was a smaller. It was on a TV screen that has three, 
three, six, nine screens. And on each screen, it was in red and it said attention. And I'm looking like, that kind of looks like my shirt. Let me walk up closer to it. It disappeared. Like, what the heck? And then like seeing, I'm seeing flies. Like, it's just like, I don't know what's going on, but I think my eyes are being slowly opened to another dimension of what God is trying to show me what to do in this world. And I'm just like, I don't know what to do because this is so easy to, for me to sit and talk to myself, but it's like the other people part, like letting other people into my life and access to me. It's like, I've only had the worst of the worst encounters with people. Like the people that literally meant me no harm, like absolutely trying to destroy my life. And I didn't know why, you know, like I literally allowed spirits. It was like a trauma bond, but in actuality, it was a whole bunch of spirits just linked up kicking it. Like, <laughs> so now that I'm in like an atmosphere where it's like uh, the Holy Spirit, God's spirit, put me in a room with them and I feel like a weirdo because it's just like, I don't belong in this room. Like, God, why would you put me in this room? Like, what would I say? He's like, they're not your words, they're my words. And I'm just like, God, I get that. But like, opening my mouth is one of the hardest things that I've ever had to do because no one's ever wanted me to speak. Like, I literally used to take so much pride and like men, white men used to literally be like talking about crazy stuff right in front of me and they're like, do you care that like she's right here? I'm like, no, she's dumb. She doesn't know what we're talking about. Ain't she pretty, but she's so dumb. And I used to love to be a, a, a dummy for a white man, acting so dumb. Like I didn't know that what he was talking about, of course, because I didn't care. Like, pay me. I don't care if you call me dumb. But, like, it's that mindset. So, it's like when God is saying that I'm this, 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 my mind's like, no. Why are you telling me this? I'm dumb. I, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. But I do in a weird, uh, weird way. Like, I understand what God is saying and showing me. But not because I understand because God is inside of me and he understands. So, it's just like, I'm just revealed I'm revealed like I'm it's being revealed to me and I'm just I'm fighting like this is the more I get closer to God the more I can feel I can feel <laughs> it's like God's right here whispering in my ear and the devil's back there like just waiting for the moment I just tune out of God just for one second so he could be like this and like, I, I can't handle that anymore, you guys. Like, I cannot handle him anymore because he is so evil. He is so mean. He makes me cry. He makes me so sad, like, because he's sad. He's depressed. He's angry. Like, anything that we feel that is bad is because the devil is feeling it. He's so sick. He's so scared of God. Like, he thinks he's so big and so mighty and so strong. And I'm just like you're not and he made me a little I was a little carbon copy of the devil like only thing I cared about was money how I look how I dress having the nicest things all that and now it's just like I know that wasn't me of course but like it's just what the heck you made me like you you literally made me in your image I did everything you said I had sex with the men you told me to have sex with I I lied I stole from people I I um, I kill I, I kill people I stab people like I just was crazy like and I did not care like I didn't care that I went to jail I didn't care if there was consequences I didn't care if it ruined my life if you upset me oh I'm hurting you but not in like a way that I'm like I'm gonna push you down the stairs and hurt you like I'm gonna be in your face smiling learning things about you so i can use those things against you yes like it was so manip manipulative and it was like he was always using me as a vessel to be a crazy person so i'm literally like wondering why do i hate everyone like there is not a person in this world besides my sister that i like even now like and that like it's just my sister but now i'm seeing like even her like we don't we don't like talk about the same things we're not uh, we're, we're not mentally on the same levels so even i'm questioning my love for her and then what was it monday my uh, what is she a prophetess she asked me like do you love god i'm like you know 
to, for me to say, yeah, like I'd be lying. God scares me. The reason I'm here right now in this car isn't because I love God. It's because God loves me and he scared me so straight that I knew that I really didn't have a choice. I would love to, to love God, but like, I got to realize that we're so foolish. So if I'm always just like, I love God, I love God, I love God, then I would think that I was worthy of this love. And I'm not, I'm always just thanking God and praising God because it's just like, God, the stuff that you have delivered us from, saved us from, from slavery, like all types of stuff. And it's just like, what was I getting with that? God has been doing stuff in the world for so long. And it's just like, now I'm literally watching it in the spirit realm, like back in time. Like, it's like history is like happening like it's all happening right now the bible is literally happening right now like not because i know what the bible is saying because i don't it's the most confusing book in the world to me because it doesn't make sense but he's making it make sense and he's showing it to me he's revealing it to me and i don't understand anything about it guys but i know that inside of me with god in me i i'm i'm, I'm equipped for this like when God shows you like who you are, your purpose in the world, it's just like, God, you see me like that? You think that I deserve that? I mean, you think that I deserve to be in your presence? You think that, that I, 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 I don't, I know I don't. Because with me, it's just like when you're around a whole bunch of men that aren't led by the spirit of God, and then you're, like, you are introduced to men that function in the spirit of God, you realize there's a difference. Like men are being led by the devil and some men are being led by God. It's just like women. It's just like a certain mindset. Like, I don't know what's going on in the world, but it's just, my mind is like, I'm because I'm still smoking weed. I'm not gonna lie. I literally made a promise that I was gonna quit, but I didn't. So that being said, I'm trying. Like, I'm not trying. I'm just like, I'm so scared to really know what God is saying. Like, to even sit and be in a deep meditation and have God actually speak to me and show me things. Like, he showed me images, but not in, like, the depth of, like, how the actual prophets had visions and had dreams. Like, there is, it's so intense. Like, I can feel my body there in these places where he's showing me, so I know that I'm there I know that I have seen these things. These things do happen. But when? I don't know. But I know that people in the Bible were seeing stuff that's happening right now that I'm now witnessing. Not because I'm witnessing it. It's because God is telling me, like, the, yeah, you, you hear that? You hear what they just said? Yeah, that's happening right now. And I'm just like, oh, gosh, I don't even turn on the news. I don't want to know. Because, like, if God is telling me one thing, they're definitely telling you their thing. So they're lying when God is telling me the truth. <laughs> so I just don't want to have a bunch of conflicting information in my head scaring me. Because what God is saying is really kind of scaring me. Because, like, God is the, the God. Like, and there has been so much bloodshed. So many, like, people just that died to even get these messages across to us. Like, all the people and the, the things that were done in time to even get us now to this moment and, like, where the sons of God are going to be revealed and the miracle of signs and wonders, like, people being raised from the dead, all that is about to happen. And if you don't feel that, you don't see that, if you don't want to be a part of that, like, baby, what are you, what are you doing with your life? I just, I'm, un, I'm um, unlearning bad habits. I got this book because... God told me to. Oh, can't see it. It's prayers to avail much, right? And it's just like working through some things. Like, I'll give you guys some examples. Just give me a second. Healing for damaged emotions, victory over fear, overcoming worry, health and healing, safety, and it like gives you like a little like prayer and then it gives you strip scriptures to uh to go with that like i've been reading like really just like deliverance from habits and that's where i really been at just deliverance from habits like me it's just like 
I am a person that is just like, I, it got slow for so long. Jesus wasn't talking to me. I wasn't talking to him. I wasn't doing nothing. He wasn't doing nothing. So it was just stagnant. So in my boredom, I picked up these habits that I know that are just habits because it was just, I had nothing to do and I was so bored. And I'm just like, if I'm not doing something, oh God, oh God only knows what I'll do. So I want to read that. Visions for church. It's just so much. And I'm just, I'm in awe. I'm in awe to be in the presence of God. I'm just so happy that he loves us and he didn't forget about us and i just pray that everyone hears his voice and sees the things that he's trying to do in this world and anyone that is under any type of deep dark depression i know that it's like one of those things where it's like why would you say that but honestly pray 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 because i realized that most of us us as prophets evangelists um teachers preachers whatever like it's one thing to be preaching to a whole bunch of people that they want to believe God but it's just like huh, I'm kind of doubting versus people that know that God is the the God is God and if God says it it's that so I've been literally discouraging myself opening my mouth for the wrong people speaking life into people that are okay with death like you like it's levels to to um, this. It's different dimensions of the spirit of God. And I'm learning that like there is healing. Like God, God, God does work. And I can see where people are stuck. Because I, I remember where I was in the spirit realm and God was walking me through deliverance and stuff. So people that are seeing scary stuff. It's because God was doing work on you and you left in that in the middle of the dimension. So you just gave a whole bunch of spirits and demons access to you. Because you didn't let God finish doing the work. Like nothing about what God was showing and doing to me felt good. But I knew it was better than what I was doing. Like it hurt. And I don't think anyone's talking about like God. He has such a gentleness about him. And he's so calm and he's so loving and he's so merciful but like to even be made in his image to be anything like us we have to know the truth for one understand the truth and understand that this is God's world and we have no purpose in this world if it's not serving God and his people and I'm seeing that I know mine's is the use the youth people is because I'm a little girl like I told you I was 12 years old when I, I literally looked at myself in the mirror like the next man that touches me like that makes me feel like that I'm gonna kill him and I meant that because at 18 this dude Jordan he choked me pulled me out the car stabbed him 126 times because you had to go you scared me but every time after that like it was just is more and more and more and more and so I'm just like bro so God is definitely revealing things to me. I definitely need to get in my uh, clear headspace, like make my home, uh, what is it? Make an atmosphere of praise in my home. You know, I've been sitting in the darkness or at least trying to, and God is like putting the flashlight on me, like flickering it, like you ready to come out yet? And I'm just like, oh gosh, I need to, because I'm losing my mind. I'm talking to myself all the time. Like, and it's not in a good way at all. It's actually very discouraging. And I swear God needs to deliver me from, like, this not trusting people. Like, I just, I don't trust people. And I know that God's spirit could be in them. But it's just, like, I've only had experiences with the worst of worst people. Like, people that would literally be smiling in my face and have their boyfriend molest my daughter when she's two years old behind my back. And like, people, people have done these things to me. Like my two-year-old daughter got molested by my friends. No, my baby dad's other baby mom's boyfriend, and she knew about it. And then her friends knew about it. And in the, the, the oh God, now I'm thinking back. So God was this girl. I'm not even gonna say her name. I don't want to be messy. This girl came up to me at the club. But before this, I had a vision. There was police cars everywhere, and I was, I was going to jail. And 
this girl walks I'm getting on stage and this girl walks up to me and I'm just like oh my gosh did you know that Carolyn let Joe molest my uh, daughter and I'm like she's like yeah I used to walk I walked in in the room and I saw all the kids and they was um this girl is literally walking up to me telling me this like this is how much the devil wanted me to like kill people like every like he used my words against me because I'm not realizing like words are powerful so if I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I'm cursing myself without knowing that that's what I'm doing he used that against me so anytime I was scared and anytime like I was put in a position to be like I'm gonna be intimate with this man he would show me this image and he'd be like okay if you don't have sex with this man if you don't do what he says then I'm gonna have him rape you remember what happened last time like that's how he messed with my mind from the time I was 12 into 28 years old and no one understands like he is like the liar of all lies and until we break down these lies that he has been telling us and we get together like so he says that to you too he's saying that to you too so then it must be the devil because too much is happening too much is happening and I have to go back to work so we're gonna do a moment of silence because I just tired of being here but you need money to even survive in this world right now right now you need money to survive but a moment of silence and we're starting now Amen. Bye guys, until my next video. See you tomorrow.